Hi Scorpio, this is your May monthly tarot reading. We'll have three separate spreads on this monthly reading. The first spread is going to be on love, and it could be new love, existing love, love from the past, whatever comes up. The second spread will be some good news for you, uh, Scorpio, for this month. And uh, in the third spread, we'll be looking at an advice for you, Scorpio, for the month of May. Please like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. So this first spread is on love, Scorpio. We have uh, the King of Wands clarified by the Knight of Swords. We have the Three of Pentacles clarified by the Ace of Cups. Then we have the Six of Wands. In the potential outcome, we have the Hierophant with the Two of Cups and the Queen of Cups. And we have the Star on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have Air. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And we have Taurus on the table. And we have you. <laughs> All right? Um, you're dealing with this king of wands. For some of you, this is a brand new person coming into your life. For others of you, maybe you're already in a relationship with this person. All right? If you're already in a relationship with this person, I think you're going to be taking it to the next level in the month of May. All right? You could be. Let me know if that plays out for you this way. But if it's a new person, this person is very, very determined very determined they're gonna take action they're gonna come to you if there's a distance between the two of you and uh, they're very determined to win you over and I think they will succeed <laughs> right they will we'll get to that in just a second so yes you got this king of wands the first guy that came out uh, so it could be a fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius or somebody with a lot of fire in their chart if they're not a fire sign this is somebody who is embracing the energy of this king of wands somebody who is very passionate very fiery Somebody who is determined, somebody who is easy to get up and go, somebody who is a leader, right? Then they're clarified by the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords is the fastest knight out of all four knights. So for some of you, travel or trip could be somehow a part of this, right? The Knight of Swords is also the, the most determined knight. The Knight of Swords is the knight that's in the attack mode, right? They're not attacking you. They're, if you got other people interested in you, they will fight them off, right? And uh, the knight of swords just goes straight ahead and they don't stop until they win, right? That very determined energy, that's what I'm trying to say. Or a trip that's coming up, or both. Right? The next card I came out is the Three of Pentacles, clarified by the Ace of Cups. The Three of Pentacles is a card of collaboration or cooperation. It could be a circle of friends. It could be a bunch of people going somewhere together. Maybe you're a member of some kind of a travel club or what have you. Right? Or maybe this person is in the same gym. Maybe this person works for the same company, but they could be uh, working for... You know, for another, they could be located in another office or something like that. Or perhaps both of you are going to be meeting somewhere. If both of you are traveling, you could be doing something together. Meeting at some kind of a conference or something like that. The Three of Pentacles, like I said, yeah, it's a bunch of people getting together and doing something together. So that's how you will, that's how they will uh, let you know that they have feelings for you. Because it's clarified by the Ace of Cups. Okay, the Ace of Cups <laughs> is true, genuine, authentic love. All right, very interesting combo. We got travel, we got determination, we got a bunch of people with the Three of Pentacles, and now we have love with that Ace of Cups. I hope all of this makes sense. All right, then in the middle we have the Six of Wands, which is a card of victory, success, and I think it's, it's the same person in the Six of Wands that we see um, in the King of Wands. You see how the King of Wands is holding up a wand? And the person riding the horse in the Six of Wands is also holding up a wand. So this is a card of victory, success, recognition. All right, this is a card of uh, somebody who is winning. All right, back in the day, the Six of Wands used to be called the proposal card. So for those of you who are already involved with this person, they are gonna, they may propose to you or may offer you to take it to the next level. Okay, but uh, in general, this is them winning you over, I guess. <laughs> the star on the bottom of the deck could be an Aquarius, you know, but the star is a card of a wish come true. Especially, Scorpio, if you've been wishing and hoping for somebody who is very determined, somebody who has, sets goals and then they achieve those goals, this person is definitely one of those people, right? Very uh, ambitious, very goal-oriented, right? And, uh, yeah, the rest is history. In the potential outcome, we have the Hierophant with the Two of Cups and uh, the Queen of Cups. You're the Queen of Cups here. You see, that's interesting. The first card I came out is the King of Wands, the person you know, and the last card I came out is the Queen of Cups. So there's a distance between the two of you. And this person is not afraid to go, to go the distance. 
<laughs> right? The hierophant could be a Taurus, but it is a kind of a something traditional, like a committed relationship or marriage. All right? And it's also a very spiritual card, educational card, um, religious card for some of you. Right? The Two of Cups in the middle is a soulmate card. And I assume that's you and this uh, King of Wands. So you will end up together. <laughs> it's also a card of when two people are on the same page and feel the same way towards one another. So yeah, Scorpio, get ready. It's a, it's a very dynamic spread. This King of Wands is not afraid of obstacles. This, this King of Wands, like I said, is very ambitious, goal-oriented, but at the same time very loving with that Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups. All right, really happy for you, Scorpio. Congratulations. Here's some good news for you, uh, Scorpio. For the month of May, we have the Nine of Swords clarified by the world. We have uh, the Five of Cups clarified by the Ten of Wands. We have the Six of Swords and Death on the bottom of the deck. You know what? This is a very general reading, but I think this is how the universe meant to show this reading. This reading is literally a rough patch being over. All right? That's what this spread is about. It's literally a rough patch being over, moving out of choppy water towards calm waters. The Six of Swords right next to the deck, that's the most important card in this reading. Maybe the Death card is also very important because it's your major arcana card. Death could also be a card of transformation or an ending. Everything to the left from the Six of Swords is some kind of a major struggle. Somebody that's been stressing you out, somebody that's been giving you anxiety and depression, for, I don't know, and uh, I, I just don't know what happened. I'm not predicting anything like that, but uh, if this is your spread, if this is your rating right here, then you're right now struggling with something. And uh, you could be like, oh my God, what do I do? Right? The good news is whatever it is, it's coming to an end. And uh, the Six of Swords, even though it's just a minor arcana card, it's still a card of things getting much, much better. All right. For some of you, you could be moving, relocating, um, you could be traveling, but in general, it, it is a card of things improving and getting better. All right, Scorpio, let me know in the comments down below how this plays out for you. It's, you know, one thing I want to note, note that, uh, yes, death on the bottom of the deck, that's your major arcana card, right? And it's always a good sign to have your own major arcana card in your own rating, right? So I think things will simply turn around, you know. You're going to be in the center of attention, or you will get what you want. Your living situation will improve. You'll move. You'll go somewhere. Things will get better, and uh, things like that. All right, cool. Here's the advice for you, Scorpio, um, for the month of May. We have the Eight of Cups clarified by the King of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Wands clarified by the Nine of Cups. The Devil clarified by the Five of Swords, and uh, the Page of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. The advice for you is to not re-engage with this King of Pentacles. This King of Pentacles is coming back. You'll be hearing from them, but they just want to have a little fun with you. That's it. That is it, Scorpio. All right. So we start with the Eight of Cups, stuff had by the King of Pentacles. So yeah, they're back. The Eight of Cups is a card of somebody who is coming back. That's how I, I usually interpret this card if it's the first card that shows up, right? They're leaving, perhaps they're leaving something behind and they need a rebound or something like that. Or they're simply coming back. They're back in town. And uh, the King of Pentacles is the person, so it could be an earth sign, uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn in particular, but not necessarily. The Devil right next to the deck is a Capricorn major arcana card. But at the same time, the Devil is a card of uh, temptation. Yeah, temptation score. <laughs> right, the page of wands on the bottom of the deck is a message. This is a message coming from this King of Pentacles. And uh, the Eight of Wands clarified by the Nine of Cups in the middle. Yeah, they're, they're coming back. They're communicating with you with that Eight of Wands. It's also a card of trouble. Right? So some of you, this person is going to be traveling, they're going to be in town, or they may want to offer you to go somewhere together, away for the weekend, or go to some kind of a party with the Nine of Cups, clarifying it. But the Nine of Cups is also a card of personal satisfaction and fulfillment, and that's, what, that's, that's all what this person wants with you. Right? And the Devil is clarified by the Five of Swords. That Five of Swords, I think, is the most important card in this in this spread. This is the actual advice for you. <laughs> the Five of Swords is a card of one... Um, it could be interpreted multiple ways, but one of the ways is to, to interpret it is to slam 
the door into someone's face, right? Don't don't even bother with this person. That's the advice, because they just they just want to have a little fun with you. That's it. All right, Scorpio. So that's what I have for you for this reading for this month. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also um, share, subscribe, and comment. And other than that, Scorpio, have a fantastic May.